The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Zechariah. Rejoice, heart and soul, daughter of Zion. Shout for joy, daughter of Jerusalem. Look, your king is approaching. He is vindicated and victorious, humble, and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will banish chariots from Ephraim and horses from Jerusalem. The bow of war will be banished. He will proclaim peace to the nations, and his empire will stretch from sea to sea, from the river to the limits of the earth. And our response from Psalm 145. I shall praise you to the heights, God my King. I shall bless your name forever and ever. Day after day I shall bless you. I shall praise your name forever and ever. Yahweh is tenderness and pity, slow to anger, full of faithful love. He's generous to all. His tenderness embraces all his creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and your faithful shall bless you. They will speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might. Your kingship is a kingship forever. Your reign lasts from age to age. Yahweh is trustworthy in all his words and upright in all his deeds. Yahweh supports those who stumble and lifts up those who are bowed down. In our second reading from the letter to the Romans. You, however, live not by your natural inclinations, but by the Spirit, since the Spirit of God has made a home in you. Indeed, anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. And if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead has made his home in you, then he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies through his Spirit living in you. So then, my brothers, we have no obligation to human nature to be dominated by it. If you do live in that way, you're doomed to die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the habits originating in the body, you will have life. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to little children. Yes, Father, for that's what it pleased you to do. Everything's been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I'll give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord.